Hi, in this video I'm going to illustrate how to do a t-test, uh, independent samples t-test using Excel. Now in the previous video I discussed how to install the data analysis tab uh, in your Excel sheet. If you haven't seen that video yet, I recommend that you watch it and take just a few minutes uh, to see how this can be installed quickly. It's inside Excel itself. It doesn't have any external sources. So let's get started with the analysis. Uh, I have a sample of males and females who have taken a test uh, and these are the results of that test. Uh, basically there are 17 of them. Now there are three requirements in t-tests. One is uh, the normality dis distribution, the other one is the sample size, sample size is more or less fine, and the other one is the equality of variances or homogeneity of variances. So let's get started with the descriptive statistics to check the uh, skewness and kurtosis values. So I click on data analysis, I click on descriptive statistics and OK, and this uh, will pop up. So the, this menu actually allows you to, to do one analysis at a time. That's one for females and one for males. So first of all, I would like to start from the first variable right on this. Now let me just choose everything here from M all the way to numbers 18. So that's my first variable. And I, I need to include labels and I need to include, um, I mean, uh, tell Excel where I want to have my uh, output range. So I would like to change, to choose column C here. So there will be two columns generated for me. I've discussed this in a previous video in more detail. So uh, please watch the same video I'm talking about um, for further information. I click summary statistics and confidence intervals. Actually, we don't need confidence intervals for this analysis, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to include it. Uh, so click OK. And there we go. For M or males, these are the statistics. And I would like to color code it because we might uh, get confused in the middle of the analysis because there will be quite a little bit of data generated. So. Uh, what I'm interested in is to look at the skewness and kurtosis values which fall within minus 1 plus 1 or minus 2 plus 2. Let's go by minus 2 plus 2 because we still are not sure if female falls between uh, the skewness and kurtosis values of females fall between minus 1 plus 1 or, plus, or minus 2 plus 2. So that's for the first uh, variable that I have. Now the second one, again I have to go to uh, data and click on data analysis and descriptive statistics again and tell Excel what to look at so I'm going to delete this and choose the F column here for females I have labels so it's checked for the results I'm going to choose E so they will be presented side by side with the results of M Summary statistics and competence intervals checked off and everything is ready. So there we go. Okay, and we got it. And in this analysis, you will also see that uh, female, the female variable is more or less normally distributed according to the skewness and kurtosis values. All right, uh, because it falls between minus two and plus two. So I've discussed these in other in other videos and I would like to ask you to um, watch them if you haven't watched them. Now the second assumption is the assumption of the homogeneity of variances and, and unfortunately from what I know Excel does not investigate that for us. So let's say um, if we do not have access to SPSS what should we do? It's actually easy. You, you should just go to it's one of the websites that helps you quite a lot. You should go to this uh, social science statistics and I'm sure there are other um, websites that can do the same thing but I find this quite useful so uh, I will leave this link for you. you what you need to do is to look at uh, um, to to copy and paste your data so for the first variable which is males I'm gonna copy this data and paste it into uh, sample 1 and for sample 2 I'm gonna do the same thing uh, copy and paste female data into this slot. That's it. So no calculation has been done, has been performed, so click calculate 
and wait for a little bit and yeah you got it so success means that homogeneity of variance has been calculated now if you uh, scroll down you'll see quite a little bit of output honestly you don't really have to look into them in, in details what you need to do is to look for this statement the requirement of homogeneity is met that's just pretty good enough now um, if you want to report uh, the evidence for the uh, uh, satisfaction of the homogeneity uh, requ requirement you can actually provide this information in your paper which gives the p-value of the f uh, f ratio and uh, also the significance test so we have evidence that homogeneity has been met now what I would like to do is to continue with the t-test I go to data go to data analysis and scroll down we have quite a few of like four types t tests here I mean three types in one as z test which is similar to a t test now you see we have two options which are uh, related to what we are doing today and the first option is um, two pair uh, sample t test I mean uh, pair to sample t test that's not what we want to do the other one is two sample t test and this is assuming that variances are equal but in case the variances are not equal so you need to choose this option so since we have evidence that our variances are equal we're going to choose this option here two sample t test assuming the variances are equal and click ok uh, this menu will appear we have two variables and you have to change uh, choose the range of the variables that you want to include in the analysis uh, so let's do the first one first uh, for males and I'm gonna include the label M as well over there because we can check off this label for the second one that's the female so I'm gonna choose this column here and we have highlighted that and for the output range I think it's gonna be uh, quite easy to choose this because I'm gonna just um, ask Excel to uh, place everything right in column G and that should be it so our uh, two sample t-test assuming equality of variances is ready to be computed and click OK then you get it yes it's easy as that really so uh, we have a little bit of statistics I quickly go through them to let you know what's going on here so let's compare the means uh, as you see the mean score for males is 2.7 something and for females is 4.4 there is an obvious uh, difference between them but we were not still sure if uh, this difference is significant the variances uh, while they are different but as the Levine's test showed uh, this observed difference is not statistically significant so the equality of variances is assumed now we've got observations and pooled variance. Pooled variance is very useful to, I mean, is necessary, that's essential for calculating the uh, effect sizes. And you don't, you don't see the effect size here, but we can use pooled variance. We can uh, take the uh, square root of the pooled variance and then divide the mean differences by the square root of the pooled variance to uh, calculate the effect size. That's something that you can do it quickly manually but uh, there's also a calculator which I'm going to use in this presentation to, to show you as I said uh, the t-test uh, in Excel does not output uh, the, the effect size unfortunately but so there, there's a way to do that the um, the rest of the story is quite straightforward the hypothesis mean difference is zero this is the null hypothesis and we want to reject this null hypothesis meaning to to claim that the null hypothesis is not correct and there is actually a significant difference between the two uh, so we have got degrees of freedom that's uh, 32 and the uh, another statistic the, the t statistic which is uh, minus four something so then we need to uh, look at the t critical two tail that's this rather than one tail because we want to look at both sides of distrib the distribution not just one side uh, if you just look at one tail I think we we might uh, overestimate uh, or overclaim the differences between males and females 
um, because we would be looking only at one side of the distribution. So uh, it's very com um, it's the conventional way is to look at the t critical for two two tails and look at the p value associated. This is the p value associated with it. So the t statistic uh, that we have obtained is basically greater than than this and the uh, which uh, the its absolute value is greater than the t critical and as a result uh, the p-value is statistically significant which means that the observed differences between f and m that's males and females uh, are statistically significant now as to the effect size I'm gonna show you the uh, calculator that I uh, told you about so this is the same website social science statistics and it can output um, different kinds of um, what is it the effect size and this is the formula I was talking about the m1 m m2 minus m1 over uh, the pulled standard deviation we have pulled variance and we can calculate the pulled standard deviation using that and that's for Cohen's Cohen's D for glass D uh, and Hedges G there are other formulas so what I would like to do here is to fill in this uh, uh, calculator the slots and then just click calculate let me do that Okay, so I, I have I just did this. Uh, basically, uh, this calculator only takes up to six decimal values for all of these statistics. So I included the mean for group one, mean for group two, standard deviations, and also sample sizes for the two groups. I'm going to click calculate to estimate the effect size. So it has been estimated. Yes, it's been estimated, and the effect size is pretty large because it's above one by by. In, I mean, according to Cohen's D and Glass Delta and Hedges G, they're all above one. So uh, traditionally, people uh, stick with Cohen's D. But in another video, I have discussed which one to prefer over uh, another one according to the distribution and the sample size. I, I will leave a link to that video for you, and if you are interested to take a look, please do so. Feel free to do so. Uh, so this brings me to the end of this video. I hope you like the video um, and um, I, in future videos I'm going to discuss how to do other sorts of analysis using Excel. Thank you and have a good day.